Alrighty, Philly, we're live, mate. Thanks for coming on to commentate with me, brother. Get a bit of the triple. To... Go ahead. Always happy to help, mate. <laughs> Get a bit of the triple E action. Let me just um quickly share this out while they do. Have they done the priority roll already? Not that I've seen. Sweet. Just put it onto a few spots, and then we're good to go. I'm like I'm watching it on the um. Here we go. The other monitor. How are we looking? Three for Trav. Two for Volcano. So Trav's got priority. That's good for him. Well, I don't know. He's Wakanda. He's no. He's not really up. He's not really um, upset with either of them, is he? No, I actually think he almost wanted to lose that. Go secures for Gamma. I think he's yeah. slightly better. I tried that in my game this week, and Gamma is what I discarded. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's just one of those and things. Just like, ugh. interestingly, uh, Trav's not running. Demons, which is almost the normal backup, right? Mate, we hate demons. <laughs> so Travis and I obviously run in the same, uh, exact same roster this is first three weeks, and then we'll differentiate after that. Both of us, like, thoroughly despise demons. I guess Travis got a bad mix with it with uh, some uh, finals games coming Ooh, back to haunt him. Travis picked um, Extracts, did he? I think he went to Cures, so I think... Herbs might have been the counter. Oh, yeah, okay. That's interesting because Herbs is typically like a zero scoring um, extract, all right? Unless you actually um, have a set plan on how to get through it. So wouldn't that play more into Wakanda? Potentially. Like, I, I guess if he's backing the tankiness of his list. So with uh, Avengers, he's got some pretty tanky characters in there, and I think he can go five wide. That's a good point. So One of the things Ghost I spider in there for a bit of control as well. Oh man, Ghost Spider for me is you is actually like a first kill target. Just have a look. All right, all the shares are done. We are good to go. Um, yes, yeah, so there is a five wide option there for. Absolutely. I think he's got to go. Captain America, Black Widow, or guys, your, that's your affiliation almost, as your three, or, or Wasp potentially as your three-pointer. Yeah, true so that. Go, go Spider Miles potentially, or something a bit more pointy like a Viper. I don't actually mind Viper. I think she just suffered from a rapid fire of releases that were all really good, so she just kind of fell through the cracks, but I actually think she's quite decent. Hey Darren, how are you, mate? How are you, how are you mate? I was really struggling my words there. I had one beer and it's gone straight to my head. And by beer, I mean a gentleman, Jack. You are a gentleman, Darren. Thank you, mate. I'm quite liking Viper in uh, Avengers. I actually don't mind it. Like both her abilities well, yeah. have become one. Like it's it's That's cheap, true. especially in defense. That cold serpent. All of a sudden, she becomes a lot more tanky on that first attack. Absolutely, and she has a poison on her builder. Which I absolutely love, right? Because poison is one of those incredibly annoying conditions that you typically don't want to shake and you don't realize how painful it's been until a couple of turns have gone by. Utility Cookie, how are you, brother? So, this uh, size four mausoleum on Trav's side is actually, I think, going to get in the way a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's going to block line of sight. I think that'll be a pretty big advantage. So choosing the board side, I think, is going to help Volcano a bit here. Absolutely. If he can sneak a Scarlet Witch in, though, he's, she can throw that, can't she? Yeah, potentially. If Trap goes an aggressive list. But Might that, not be the I worst idea be, to throw it. Yeah, it'd be away from a non-traditional, I guess, five-wide Wakanda if he's doing that. I mean, odds are he's going the wave, right? Yeah, I think he's... like Traditionally, I think Trap likes an aggressive style of the wave, but he's not running Mystique. Uh, no, nah, he's gone back to Miles. Miles yeah, be can be aggressive, and he brings in just that bit of utility you need. Yeah, so we got, wide. yeah, nice. I'll flip myself around so that my uh, streamer view lines up. 
Oh, someone's got someone dying behind me. It's Brad. So, Lord that? Captain America, Black Panther, Vision, Ghost Rider. Disgust. <laughs> And I guess if you can if you can kill that other on a piece of tribe a piece or two of tribes, you can deny him the activations and potentially still go last on some of those critical turns of the ghost spider. Yeah, plus vision with vision. Of, oh, one power throw with vision. That's <laughs> like size three throw medium, I think. Oh, yeah. So tribes gone traditional Wakanda wave with a sort yep. of miles flavor. Yeah, yep. that would, you'd call that one traditional. He's gone climbing gear, brace for impact. All you've got. Bit of rivals, yeah. Wakanda forever. Yeah. So it, it's a wave, but aggressive. Yeah, so tra obviously Trav style very much for the restricted cards. Yep. Mark for um, death. Yeah, so when you don't see very often. No, I actually don't think I've ever seen it. It gets rid of stealth. Um, so maybe a miles thing. I don't think it's going to be as effective here. No, no one's got it. Um, interesting. So I guess what we're I'll have a quick look at his list and see what other op tactics cards options there, but I think that may be a potential efficiency that he's he's lost a little bit on that pick. Yeah, true that. Sorry, I'm still listening to Brad die behind me. I was just like, can you kindly die quieter? Well, one advantage is if you're not even going to pretend to go for the um the herb, what you know, you just go for um. Just a straight up fight. Um, it does make their speed becomes S and they cannot modify or reroll as defense twice. So, I mean, that would be good for a kill. Yeah, it's so potentially a good Miles counter just in that. Yeah, or even Panther. Probably Miles would be your target number one for that, right? Yeah, so maybe for that reason, it's not a bad, it's sort of a cheeky pick. I guess his other only other real option looking at his list was sort of a mission objective or no matter the cost. Yeah. I, Do you I think? Don't quite as good here. Do you think Travis should be going for the herb at least to get the one extra red dice? Oh, questionable. I think it's. I think he's better off going for the control for points. Yeah, but like Might it is be. Panther, right? Like just take one single damage, nick the herb, and then long move into the middle and hit somebody with a six dice. Yeah, potentially. If, I guess if he's confident enough that he can hold off the pieces enough to still get the Shuri push off. Yeah, I'd true that. To see if Shuri can get a can sit on sort of the uh, scoring side of the gamma there and still get line of sight to some of those pieces. I think some good placement on the right behind that mausoleum may avoid yeah. some of the pushes. I reckon, yeah, he's going to be front loading that left hand side of that mausoleum, right? But I think Shuri can still get most of it. I think Valky's going to be a big, a big part of this. I think if Trav activates Valk last and places double low throw. Yeah. What's Miles doing, Addy? That's radio. I don't know what Miles is doing, Addy. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't quite get that either. Unless Miles, he's intending to go Miles to grab the. Um, well, that's it. Yeah. Well, he's a good pick if he wants to score it as a cheeky score scoring option. That's true, actually. Attention away. Forces because he's got the web swing option. Turn, yeah. on, online turn two to get it across exactly if you bunker down and just spend all your resources capturing your home gamma in the middle gamma get a small lead and then have miles come in round behind your home gamma and teleport up could be there for a slow um slow burn victory there yeah even a, even a web a web line sort of a web swing or a web line kick for sort of seven dice with the herb Start on next turn and then a move on completion, as you said. Yeah. Set on up back gamma. Use the power you get from that to then score it on turn three. Yeah, for sure. War gamey dad. What's your game yesterday, Von? Unlucky, very close. Yeah. Man, if he didn't kill my Okoye, I won that turn and the game was over. The second he killed my Okoye, I'd lost the game because we went to another turn and he just... Nothing went my way. Absolutely nothing. I was so frustrated about it. Turn three, he apparently can score it. Which is roughly when a gamma finishes, so having a cheeky four victory point coming your way um, can help with any gamma mistakes you've made. E.g., like if you miss the middle shelter once or twice, it basically solves that. Or it can make you win harder, right? Interesting that he didn't move cap all the way forward there. I think he's probably got a little bit more space. Yeah. If you position right on the edge of one, you could still potentially get bodyguard range. For sure. This vision, oh, mate, this is like... Oh, vision on this is, is terrifying. Oh, boy. Back to the early days. That's it, man. I, like we said on the cast this week, everyone was like, what characters do you like? 
re- is like your number 11. And I was like, basically, Nebula's nearly always my number 11, right? Like, I want to bring her in, but just can't fit, fit her in. Travis straight away was just like, it's Vision. I mean, Vision can do a Valkyrie-esque here and just double move and medium throw Panther out. Yeah. But I guess you're still looking at an option there. If Tra- Trav's still got options to then double move Valk late. Yeah. So I think, yeah, yeah. I think that, that's a good safe play. That forces, I guess, some action. Yeah. You actually, if you're Travis, you are absolutely cheering. If when you saw um, Volcano go four wide, yeah, I because I, he instantly loses priority, right? Yep, and it's good. Turn yep. two, and he's got. I've seen Trav do it a few times where he. I, I quite like it, but he front loads that kind of forever to get the points to turn one. Yeah. Um, and I think, and he's got that option with Black Panther there if he doesn't yeah, get thrown off. He is sitting there very menacingly. And it's really going to be a fight for this middle middle point. I had somebody in one of my um, YouTube comments the other day was telling me. Um, what they love to do is like monitor the home gamma and if they don't front load it and like load up their home gamma, they love to double move their panther and just will kind of forever push them off the home. That's savage, especially if you yeah. get Shuri going off on that middle point. You can potentially score all three first round. Yeah, that, that'd that be catastrophic. Yeah, like, he's, like, he's a hard piece to kill, right? So. Oh, yeah. You're not upset. Like we'd lose him prior prior there. Like panther can happily sit up there. So we got something going into Panther. I mean, Panther's gone a quad block. It's physical, so it looks like a... Five blocks from Travi. Into four hits. Oh, yeah. Go Spider. Oh, Did he roll the wild? No wild. Two crits, but one of them was the, the critical being rolled in. You'd be happy if you were Travis to not see that wild come up then. The oh, yeah. spot is another cheeky piece that can, can score that herb pretty sneakily with a move, attack, and then advance again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that ghost spider then could have easily just paid one power and pulled Panther forward, but I don't think. I mean, you probably could have pulled Panther off, like no, not not in that way, but towards the tree. Yeah, but maybe for a lifesaver. Maybe that's what he's he's thinking. Yeah, that's fair enough. You can get aggressive. He's kind of running out of pieces, isn't he, with his Panther on the far that top edge of the flank up there. Trav's just deciding whether he goes miles for the bait. I think I would. I think I'd just I think go I miles. I'd I just double miles move miles. Just play here, I think. And if he yep. attacks it, then you, you, you secure the middle point. 100%. Yeah, because you're leaving Valkyrie and Shuri for, you know, either one of them can answer the vision activation. So I think you just do miles, get him prepped. Man, did you guys, did everybody see the. Um, the spoilers for, um, I mean, not official spoilers, but the spoilers for uh, Falcon and well, I guess he's Captain America and um, War Machine. War Machine. Yeah, I did. They look interesting. Yeah, I kind of wanted Falcon to just have a be slightly better. I mean, he's got a better version of the shield throw, but yeah, I just wasn't super impressed. I hate seeing a four dice builder on a leader. I would have loved yeah. to have seen that be five dice, but I guess it doesn't make sense that Caps is four then. He's a three-pointer, though, and he's got some good efficiency. I'd be interested yeah. to see how he fits in and how he goes. Like, Caps already got a good leadership. Yeah. But how he goes with... Um... He's, this guy's got to get... Volcano's got to get in real tight here. I love the war machine. Empty the, uh, empty the tanks or whatever it is. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Avengers is my go-to affiliation of, like, man, I would just love to play. I don't know why. I'm just always drawn to him. Yeah, right, so throw here, the travel throw into that size one. Yeah, I'll be trying to get just a sneaky one damage here. Do you think this is a mistake, though, keeping him in range? I mean, if you threw him the other way towards Miles, you still get the damage from the Gamma. He doesn't get the power, Yeah. and he's then further away, potentially. I, th- I don't know, because four wide traditionally says, I am a attrition squad. Yeah, great. And a, and a double damage on Panther is... It's good. Uh, 
but it's also giving him power, right? Yeah. I mean, and Trav can just immediately answer this with a... Yeah, double, Trav almost has, there's almost no downside to Trav killing pieces here, keeping and and keeping priority on the other side. Now, we know Travers. Do you reckon he'll charge? No, surely <laughs> not. But, oh, surely it's just... Surely... He, I mean, if you're he wants to be aggressive, he could throw Vision into Ghost Spider. Yeah. That's pretty close to see if he makes it. He bet not charge. You surely you go points here. This yeah. two in the bag. Seven wide at 17 as possible with Spam Avengers. Yeah, that'd be a bit savage. Yeah, I think, and that leadership really gets some good value at that point as well. Yeah, that's it. I do like the shenanigans you can do with Falcon. I'm just going to call him Falcon, even though he's labeled as Captain America. Yep. Travis pinged the top superpower, which is the throw. Um, I do like the shenanigans it has with... Oh, look at this nice play from him here, right? Throwing Vision into Ghost Spider and leaving him within two uh, for Valkyrie to have a go at next round. Um, I do like the shenanigans you can do with the f if Falcon's leadership stays as is. Um, you can do some serious shenanigans with all you've got, right? Yeah, I, yeah. It's it's I think it's good. I think it'll it'll be like Sin's leadership early, I think. I think it'll have more play than when you put it on the table, it's better than it than it looks on face value. Ah, dies hard. Good to follow, mate. Thank you very much. Good to see some danger room guys getting on board. Yeah. Boy. This Panther, like four wide, I just I don't know if he wants the herb, like an interesting choice. I mean, it's like the old wave, right? The old wave used to send Doc up, up Doc Ock up the side, and then he double move onto the home gamma shelter. Yeah, it's just two cost X Men leadership. The way I saw it was, it's basically just. Oh, so he's it's, looking it's to a red score here. Potentially, if he gets attacked for a lifesaver, that's what I think. What he's maybe that's what Trav's measuring out. Yeah. I mean, he's got a good placement for his um, lifesaver ready to go. Surely you just leave him and don't attack him, right? Otherwise, you're bringing him closer. Yeah, for sure. Um, Vince Chan, nothing on Falcon's card stands out as amazing, but the Spam Avengers is interesting. Yeah, for sure. Falcon has a couple things just kind of going for him, but like he's a, he, he looks and feels like a three threat. Yeah, it's just a range two play, place, right? Like, it's just Red Skull. We've just got Red Skull's ability. It's aggressive. Aggressive Shuri placement here. I don't mind it, though, because he sits up on top of that. He's got it's auto cover. cover. Yeah. There's no size for No guys. one, no one can line aside him. Right? Because that's that was the pain we were talking about with Shuri, is that... Yeah. Man, right, like... It avoids it. it. And it makes him... I mean, Shuri's going to be in range for everything for rerolls. Yeah. Which is I mean, good he, for Ed. Tribes attrition as well. Yep. I mean, like, Volcano's done all his moves, so there's no reason to not move Shuri up there. I think the danger is you open yourself up to a, um, to Gwen pulling you towards. Yeah, true that. Essentially, web line. Yeah, I would have gone way further back. I would have been on my back right-hand corner. Yeah, I agree. I think, yeah. Right at the back, almost near Okoye. Yeah. Still in range of, of, of the relevant stuff. but Yeah, near Okoye is the key. Right. That's it. I mean, no one's getting out of the Shuri push there. One thing I do like about the uh, Falcon War Machine combo is that we're now looking at an eight threat affiliation, which I don't know if there's anything we can do with that yet. But I mean, getting affiliation bonus for eight is, you know, bang vision on there. You're now at 12. You've got four wide, which means you can now bring in a five threat or, you know, a three and a two and be six wide at, you know. Scarlet Witch, that three yeah. move and one, they all oh. go up. There's some aggressive plays you can put in there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, go warm, go um Falcon with Scarlet Witch. One power teleport, she gets a free move and then she gets a, she'll be in there from turn one, really. And yeah, she think, is in the Avengers affiliation, I believe. Yeah, I think she is. Actually, I've actually got it up on my side screen at the moment. She is, her and Quicksilver are both. Yeah, nice. 
So aside from uh, that shoe replacement, I am yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good term for Trav there. Yeah, great. I, I I agree with you on the Shuri. I think I would have set it all the way at the back. We didn't bodyguard range of Akoya as well. Yeah. A doomed prophecy Avengers list. War Machine adds a lot to that. Yeah, I mean War Machine's got four physical defense, so brings him up to a nine dice builder. Uh sorry. Yeah. A nine dice builder that's a beam. <laughs> yeah, that and also the double attack if someone's on in for the beam. Yeah. Ugh. Either way, it's good, right? That's it. So we're going to the round two. Power for every damage dealt as well, which is yeah. actually surprisingly strong. I just want to see somebody with Doom Prophecy do his big attack and then just kill themselves, right? Every every crit you roll is a damage. <laughs> uh, so three to one for Travis round one, which is basically expected for... Wakanda Wave generally always wins turn one, turn two. Turn three is when it gets interesting for him because it all depends on how many pieces Volcano can start removing. Yeah, I think Vision is going to be the real threat here. Yeah, the good placement with Shuri there is if Vision wants to throw her, like he can't just smash her into the building. She, he's, got, he's got to throw her, like he can throw her into Valkyrie. He can probably even reach yeah, there. Yeah, throw you know, you know her character. Yeah, for sure, Dizard, like... Yeah, just encourage the leadership. That's why I thought all you've got, right? Because all you've got, auto dazers. So there's the leadership going off. And then you can small move somebody over for a field dressing. And just immediately field dress that character. It was the instant combo I thought of with our Falcon's leadership. Oh, here we go. We're going to go Panther straight up. I don't think I liked the Panther move, but I think he's... I mean, if he long moves towards the uh, vessel... Or back to safety within Cap's bodyguard. He's going to yeah. be able to stop. Yeah. Although Shuri is an excellent going last, you could just every turn just push him off with Shuri. Yeah, for sure. Ah, oh, Panther's having a go. Six dice Panther attack. It's pretty decent. Four into one block. One block. I'm not sure if it was Valkyrie or Shuri. Yeah, it's on. Here's the Wakanda reroll. Oh. If he does another one, so he's into Valkyrie. Shuri got dumped. What is going yeah, on here? Shuri. It's Shuri. Okay, cool. Well, he won't be able to keep her in range. She has to get pushed away here. Yeah. You actually would be semi happy with that. It's gotta be away. Put the thing. Put put the thing down. Yeah. It's what it's for. I think Trav's pretty on the ball with it. I think he'll hold it. Yeah, for sure. There you go. You're right. That's that's effectively a stagger in the fact that she's now got to move up to do anything. Yeah. And it's some damage. If she gets off the edge, right? If she gets off the edge. Yeah. And looking at that. Yeah, Travis is immediately like, you're not going to get me off the edge there. So the the good push, which is to push her down that far side of the um, mausoleum, I don't think is possible. Or do you go the other way and you just put her inside Vision's beam? Yeah. I oh, don't mind that. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. basically everyone out of line of sight. Yeah. Panther's powered up as well. Or you got Doom Prophecy, Sacrifice and Face Me, add Mysterio to the list as unaffiliated. Yeah. That could be interesting. I like Mysterio. I mean, that's a pretty decent Panther activation straight up. Volcano, like, the way he's pre-measuring and stuff, like, he knows... This is a player that knows what's going on. Yeah, he seems experienced. Yeah. I think we'll start to see a bit of a swing back here now, though. Whether it's Valk going into vision or... Yeah. I mean, Valk's still fully in range of Shuri rerolls, so, you know, Valkyrie could Warrior of Legend. Shuri could bit a rivals off Panther. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Bit of rivals coming out. Straight off Panther. Tra yeah. Travis is locking in the attrition. Travis is like, thank you for placing that Panther there for me. 
A lot of people do not expect the attrition style Wakanda, right? Because Travis and I don't really play Wakanda like the hardcore, I don't want to do any damage Wakanda players. It's usually like, I mean, look at our tactics choices for cards, right? Blind Obsession, all you've got, bit of rivals. It's got to be Panther, unless you decide you want to kill Panther here. Which I think is a mistake. This yeah. is good target, so... I mean, the only thing is... Nah, Koye is, A double tap from a Koye into Panther, if he's only got two energy defense, could be spicy. But I would just absolutely be railroading that... Um, if I was is in range of Ghost two, Rider... within two, though, of uh, Captain America, is that a question? Otherwise, just throwing dice in it. Yeah. The meat grinder that is cap. That's it. I mean, he's not very tanky on his healthy side. No, I'm expecting a, a bodyguard here. What do you think of... You're the, you're the Spider Foes guy, Philly. What do you think of Spider Foes now? We've seen Craven. I haven't seen the card yet. Haven't we? Oh, we've seen him talk about it. He sounds pretty cool. He sounds like a Killmonger, to be honest. He does a bit like a single target sort of killer. Yeah. Um, which I think... I, I'm, I'm really hoping it's an aggressive, sort of maybe a wider attrition style list. Yeah. I think him and Lizardman are going to be the key and with a desperate need for an, for a, like a good affiliated uh, tactics card. Yeah, for sure. I think if they get it that... It doesn't I involve Doc Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's, that's just the <laughs> Doc Hawk packs. It can't but involve really, Doc Hawk. I would love to see them competitive next, next season. So, hear me out here. If I am Travis, I am going into uh, Vision and I am throwing... Vision into the mausoleum. Right, yeah. We're just going to go straight through it because then he can't get bodyguarder, right? Because Vision is a threat here because, I mean, Travis's bodies are starting to stack up here. This beam's getting bigger and bigger. Ghost Spider. I it's hate Ghost charged. Spider. So he's charged in the Ghost Spider. Yeah. I don't mind that because it, it forces the power and then Ghost Spider is, I think, a better target here. I hate Ghost Spider, so she's got to go. She's so frustrating with the lifesaver. It's so easy to pull off. Well, it's not a good attack. Not uh, a good block either. He's in Shuri range though. Yeah, no might be worth dumping it to try and get enough power to do a Warrior of Legend on the next one. He just needs to do that. Oh, oh savage. <laughs> Is that enough though? So that's a uh, three. Not quite enough for a throw to kill it. Nah. You could pay two here to throw Vision into her. I'd be throwing Cap away. So I would be throwing Cap away right now to stop the bodyguard coming up and just have faith. Oh, go, go Spiders on one. You just throw her in a Vision and start, start working. Well, does, he have, does he have Brace? He does have Brace. Yeah, yeah just throw Cap away. Just throw Cap away. No, 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 Travi. Throw Cap away, mate. Just yeet Captain America out of bodyguard range. Yeah, maybe at least force the activation again. We have pinged yeah, Warrior of Captain Legends. America. Nah. Throw Captain America away, as you said, and then just go to second yeah. strike in it. Ghost Stays up. Yeah, exactly. Just go nice bodyguard, see ya. But he's paid for Warrior of Legend, so I guess we're going to see Captain America possibly take some damage here. Yep. Yep, there's a cat bodyguard. Not, probably not good for Trav, right? Because then nah. Captain America starts powering up and throwing some... Built some spenders. Yeah. I just, I just thought it was a mistake from Trav there. He had just an easy solution to... I mean, that's pretty oh, good. Oh, wow. That's, hot that's pretty good. But, I mean, he easy, he had an easy... For a Warrior of Legend roll as well, by the way. So that's one, two, three, seven. That's seven. Yeah, dazed. Dazed. <laughs> oh, it worked out. Tri Travis. Triple E, baby. Triple E. Poor, like, I thought it was a poor decision to be straight up frank with Travis. And, I, I agree. And, but, I mean, it is Warrior of Legends, so, and, and we did just literally just say that Captain America is not that tanky on his healthy side. Morgan will be crying in his sleep right now, knowing yeah. that, that wasn't a high percentage play. Speak of the devil, he just arrived. So, the evening, lads, <laughs> watch the skinny. Uh, I, I, assume, I hope he watched that. Yeah. Travi just uh, dropped Ghost Spider to four out of five health and dazed Captain America. Yeah, and then knowing Travis, he'll have his cake and try and eat it, and we're going to throw Ghost Spider to daze her. I like this. I think this forces a brace consideration. 
And he's avoided pairing up this one, I don't mind. Yeah, it has yeah. to brace. You have to, right? And you have to activate her. Because if you, if you don't brace that, I mean, we know he's braced it. But, I mean, he's only got vision, and Travis has got four activations left to cap all three gammas. Yep. Travis Panther's actually a real threat here to get that back point. Oh, that hell yeah. Hell yeah. That Panther's 100% going for that back point. Throwing that. Doesn't deal with the, that doesn't deal with the vision problem. Yeah, Morgan, four wide versus Wakanda wave. Yeah. yeah. It's a rough choice. Uh, he was Webheads as well, I believe. I didn't get a chance to really go into his roster. Got it up. Give me two seconds. Yeah, I thought maybe like a wider Webhead, especially since Volcano lost priority, so he could have done uh, some... Um, he didn't have... No, he has, he's not running enough. He's only got... He? Um, Wayne and uh, Miles. Yep. There's the so brace from impact. I think that's a good brace from Travis because uh, his Panther's already suffered too. So you don't really yeah, want to see I your Panther take that. Agreed. And the more you use early, I think this is going to be an attrition battle. The more he keeps alive, the better he's going to be. Uh, what's this? Avengers Assemble coming in. Oh, his Panther's getting close. I don't think he gets it. He can't get it. It's turn three, so... He, he keeps, I think it's keeping him out of danger, though. I think it's the thought process. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if I'm Travis, I look at that, and I'm like, all right, I'll just keep my Shuri and hold her in the back, and I'll activate her after that at the, as the last activation of every round. And then yep. you've got four points sitting over there with a the vessel not attacking, um, counted by three points. And I think Trav then just overwhelms the rest. What's going on here? Patch up, disarm, mark for death. Within so he's three, trying to get rid of Miles, maybe? Within three of Vision. Like, he's measured three from Panther to Vision. Cutting the rerolls, potentially? I don't know. I'm just not sure. This is the big beam, big dirty beam attack coming in here. Ugh. Didn't he get four? He get three. I think he gets No, two. he's missing Panther. He, he, could, he could make yeah. it. You go for Shuri here, right? I would. I'd go yeah. Shuri or Koei. I'll be going Shuri Okoye. Because if you all you're doing is charging up Valk and you've got lower. Oh, uh, you know the other thing that's done with Panther is it's removed potentially a um, bit of rivals range. I, did, I didn't see the measurement. Ah, uh, he's outside three. He'll get no, a bit more dicey. Did he get within three or did he? He measured the three from Panther. That's that's what he's measuring. He's measuring bit of rivals, but did he land yeah. outside? I can't remember. I mean, let's I'm assume he did. He has. That's logical that he's. But he's not sitting on this point either, it doesn't look like. So maybe he's locking in the attrition. That's a good point. If he was over just a bit more, he'd be, he'd be capping at least forcing yeah. him. I don't think he's within one of that middle... I am confused, mate. I think maybe the players are thinking of weblining back. But you've even got a cheeky yeah. Shuri option that you just move and shoot Ghost Spider and push her even further out of the game. Yeah. Hmm. He's also made, I think, a Koya a bit more relevant here. That he's put a Koya within line of sight of vision. So Koya has now got a double four dice attack in a vision. Yeah. Is, I mean, it's forcing at least him to either switch phasings and waste power. Um, Koya is actually not least, bad in a vision. Bit of chip damage through, right? Yeah, she's actually pretty good at chip and vision. I don't like the Valkyrie Panther play here. I think the two damage on Panther will set you up to chase a cherry that is not obtainable. I think Trav doesn't lose much by double moving Panther onto that back point. It's in Panther, he'd I even, think. He'd yeah. move. Panther's going to take two. So he's alive. Yep. yep. I think this is good use of bit of rivals here. Trav's still got what kind of forever up his sleeve. Valkyrie now. Oh, big vision attack. Big, big vision attack. Huge vision attack. Six. Valkyrie will be one. alive. And on one. Yeah, she'll live on one. But that's all right. Charged up.
I mean, I think next turn is going to see a swing, I think, back to Volcano, but the turn after, with some charged up pieces, I can see Trav hitting back pretty hard. Yeah. Travis still has Wakanda forever sitting there, and he's got all you've got. So I also would not be... Do you go... You, I mean, you know you've lost priority, right? Do you just go stuff it and just see be, if you can daze everything? Point, I think I'd be looking points here. I think if you take Panther all the way to the back, you move... Throw yourself in a Gwen, daze her with the throw, and then you head to that back point. You guarantee yourself yeah. um, the points. You then force a difficult decision next round where he's got pieces sitting at the back that he maybe doesn't want to activate, and you open up some opportunities to kill Vision. For sure. Plus, Travis does have Shuri still sitting there, so I don't actually think Panther will ever get to cap that point if Travis is willing yeah, to de think... dedicate his Shuri to just walking out and just blasting him off it over and over again. Yeah, I mean, Trav could even potentially hide Shuri all the way at the back here and really force it, an aggressive vision play. Yeah. So this is a bodyguard from Okoye to try and protect Panther, which is actually a good play, I think. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Only one as well, so. I mean, vision's proven why he's still top tier, right? Oh man, Vision's so good. He's just so good, man. But it, he needs what he loves is like X Men leadership or you know Falcon coming forward, just just move him around the board. What is going on here? Him in Panther, maybe. But didn't he move? No, it must have been Avengers. Uh, Avengers Assemble. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Gotcha. Can I modify reroll defense dice? Marked for death. Marked for death onto Miles, which actually makes him move slow. So he's really committing to the uh To the herd play. Yeah. Which I don't think Trav minds that a huge amount. Nah. I mean Miles can web swing in, punch vision, then move, cap the middle point. Yep. I also thought the Panther move for the herb could have waited because now you've given Miles a chance to punch something where he may be able to get one damage through and then he can move teleport, right? Yep. Or does Trav just go all in on vision here? Oh man, no, no, he's going to move. Move pounce, you think? Yeah, I would just move pounce. And then move again. So I still think that's the play. Yeah. I think based on that, with his base added on the end of the pounce, I think you'll get there. Looks like he's going for an attack, actually. The attack's probably got a better chance. Oh, no, we're going to do the pounce. Good. Bit of Rivals does not minus your dodge dice, does no, it? it I don't recall. No, it's just, just defense. Attack. Pretty sure it's attack and defense. Yep. No, 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 I'm not sure of that. Nope, that go. Oh, we got a crit being rolled in here. Oh, this would be. Might actually dodge it. Nah. No, oh, jeez. That'd be huge. <laughs> that would have been huge. Crazy things have happened. Hundred percent. So that's it for his activations. Let's go, Spider Dazed. So now Travis has free reign to just go for six points here. I like that placement. See how he's putting himself behind Cap. So if Vision wants to beam him, he's got to hit Cap. Yeah, it does the damage. Yeah, agreed. Pistol Preacher. What's happening, brother? Yeah. Let's bring a Koye up. Why not? Ooh. Setting up for the Wakanda Forever. What do you reckon? Surely it's a bit of a waste here, though. I mean, it's Travis talking about, right? It three, is, yeah. Three energy, so this is into Panther. The danger here is he's giving a good throw target for Vision and he's given a beam. Yeah, no, I mean, Panther blocks it. regardless it. anyway, but at least yeah. he forces the harder decision. Three versus three, so easy block. Free power, though. I mean, it depends what he's trying to do, right? Uh, I'm just commentating Pistol. Yeah, I'm still surprised he's not going into vision here. I still think he's the maybe he's, maybe he's nervous about powering him up. He's already pretty powered, and his beam attack doesn't 
I know, and that's your replacement. Just set up the vision beam. I mean, at least if he gets a good push here, he can put vision out of uh, the triple beam at range. Yeah, well, he start, at least forces it. Forces it first, so if he's right? if he's smart here, he stays on his physical side and he can't be pushed. This is why I liked vision when Medusa was really taking the um taking the stage. He can't be pushed, right? Five physical defense can't be pushed. Yep, solid. Web line first. I'm surprised. Uh, maybe he was trying to. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, this is the move. He doesn't have the power for it. He's only got one. Oh, yeah. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. If you can get a sneaky kick here, it'd be nice. Yeah, here we go. I think Weblon it is because he's got the herb. Three verse two. Drives Three versus three. We got double Shuri re-roll, which I'd probably go for to get the teleport. Yep, there it is. Just needs to get one hit here. Yep. And a and the throw. Handy. Handy. That's the displacement they needed. Yeah, you'd be loving that. Put him into cap. Or do you put him for damage? Send him out wide. I don't know. Because it's got to, it's got to be away, doesn't it? Yeah, you gotta make sure yeah. you got to really make sure you don't accidentally put him on that point, right? You can measure the <laughs> two, though, right? I'm not sure you'll get it. But. Yeah, I don't know if you'll get it. Just got to watch that cut on those Okoye in the middle. That should be fine there. I don't think it'll be within range of the Gamma. Yeah, no. Nah. It's close, I think. So, I mean, that's going to be 9-1. The herb's it's a, it's worth a lot. Turn. But I think Trav, if he... If Webline's here, he potentially... I think he scores that next turn if he can get the power. Yeah, he'll, he's only got to do a medium move. Um, Yeah, good, yeah. good placement good placement here. Yeah, I don't think he'll get there. Just a medium move. I think he'll get sort of in line, uh, less in line with that sarcophagus. I think he needs yeah. the web line as well, which is, it comes down to power. Yeah. Do you go aggressive with him and bring him in a bit to get another kick? Yeah, put him up on the mausoleum. Go for some cover. I, I'd put him, yeah, I'd probably put him up mausoleum. Go yeah, look at that. And within range three. Yeah, good. Oh, vision. Nice. Nice placement. It's aggressive, but he's in range here to generate some power. Potentially off Gwen too. Makes you think twice about what Gwen's doing. Is Mark for death for the whole game? No. I think that's what he's checking. This round. This round. No. Yep. That's it. End of it. I so in Travis... Um, is Travis's... Is Travis's Valkyrie out of two of that Gamma? I think it's really close. Yeah. So, I mean, that's still 9-1. That's pretty big. It'll take Travis to 12, so it's another. So weirdly, if he scores with Miles, that's his win condition next round. Yeah, just hold the middle, hold his home, score with Miles, win the game. If we can get that and, a couple, and a, another good secure. I think yep. it, we're going to see another two rounds here. You reckon? I, I, I actually I think, think it's um, advantage Volcano this round. Yeah, I agree. I think this will be the swing back with the Dunstan. Yeah. Like caps in the back in prime positioning to just not take damage from anything and bodyguard both Ghost Spider and Vision. So you would not ex see, expect to see either of those go down. What do you go here? I reckon you've got to go cap here. Or do you go cap and I reckon cap and maybe a uh, patch up on Vision? Uh, is cap auto throw? I mean, man, two power, shield slam times two. Solid, you, yeah. You auto daze Panther. Finished. You don't even need to do damage. And it's no direction on the throw, so you can throw directly into that mausoleum. Exactly. And he will make that. That's uh, not the worst idea. And then you've still got enough power to fully heal up vision. I think that's a good option. Yeah. You do dump his power down to the point where he doesn't get that many bodyguards off, though. Yeah, true, but you've got... 
You've still got Ghost Spider there for the lifeline. That's true. So I really think that Panther here carrying that herb for Volcano is really hurting him. Um, yeah, I just, four wide, right, and going herb says, I want a slow game so that I have enough time to play my attrition. And then the he's gone for the herb. Damage from Gamers yet? Uh, he no. Should have taken one, shouldn't he? Uh, can I, I step in here? I don't want to say the same thing. Nah, I'd leave it. Yeah, yeah. Just let him do their thing. We have a judge in our chat right now, Darren. <laughs> sounds like sounds like it's a moral obligation for him to act. A moral obligation for you to get your anus into that chat. Oh, but it also it also potentially impacts on the Valkyrie throw here if Valkyrie's dazed. Yep. But this whole play changes. Yeah, hundred percent. You better get in there quick, Darren. Miles does have Spidey Sense. Doesn't he get to reroll? He does. No, no, his damage is automatic still from that. Tack oh, yeah, true that. True, 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 true. Was thrown in yeah, it. true that. Oh, Setting up for a big cool. dirty beam. But I, if I was Travis, man, you've just given me the power I needed to do the teleport. So I would be torching my Koye into the ground, who is now point blank on vision at her absolute strongest. I'd also be looking at a panther, like a panther, see if panther can really get in there against ghost spider, it's just because yeah. he's got a backstop, so if panther kills ghost spider here, it's, I think it's yeah. a bad day. I think, I think she's within it. two. Yeah, I think his volcano's panther potentially gets it back, but I don't think it's enough of a swing to hurt Trav. This is into, oh, Travi, I'm big with the blocks here. Who's attack roll too. Both both dice are very hot. One hundred percent. Five and a three. I think I'd be happier if I was defending on that. That's a pretty good block. I don't know if this is Shuri or like who's actually defending this. Could be Shuri. Oh, I think it might maybe. actually be Shuri. It's Shuri. Yeah. I think he's saving the Okoye bodyguard to protect Miles. Yeah. That's Miles was the win condition here. Because even if Miles makes it to the herb, right, he's in a position where Travis wins in two turns, no matter what, unless Volcano can just cap everything. Oh, yeah, oh man. Big vision. But still, it's into a Koi. No, it is into a Koye. We saw minus two power from a Koye, who has done a triple block. Wow. Yeah, Koye? It's still good. Both, both, both are rolling very hot. Yeah. It's just a Koye, man. She's sitting point blank with, with double reroll, right? We'll kind of reroll, normal reroll. Morgan's Sad. sweating, just, just looking at a Koye in that position, mate. <laughs> <laughs> She's so strong when she sits in those spots. Jeez. So he's done the throw. He's done his move. He's done a beam. I would say that is a vision finished. I think Trav's thinking the same violent option we are. That looks just out to me. I've, I'd be considering... Yeah, look at that. Cap. <laughs> What's it doing? Cap's doing the... Uh... I don't know. Cap's K power. Disarm. Disarm's coming in. Disarm is on Panther. So Panther's three dice attack. So I'll probably leave Panther's activation. Personally, I actually think I'd be just sending Miles to that herb right now and just guarantee it. So this is another weird play that I actually prefer instead of Brace and Travis Assist, a field dressing with all you've got. So yeah. Had Valky, she could really go off. Yeah, true that. Field dressing, we were really having an iron between field dressing and uh, Brace. There's a lot of throws in the meta right now, though, and Brace is... Yeah, it is. You, you always solid. Get, I mean, it's, 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 it's the tough choice, right? They're all great cards. Going in Koye. Not the worst. Get some power onto her, but I mean... Decent option to get. No cap bodyguard? Maybe not in range? If Man, I'd be going for this here if it's... Three going through currently. Maybe, Maybe it's out of range. Yeah, yeah he's be. going for it's it. It's actually a decent option with all the rerolls. He actually has a decent chance of getting Ooh. out. With a... Four. So it's full damage. It's not 
abstract to think you might get her on the next attack. For sure. I don't mind that at all. That's quite that's strong. Darren, did you solve our gamma damage problem? Panther, his Panther's taken one, but he would have taken one well, from the first turn. So his Panther should be on two damage. Yeah, that well, was my thought process. One when he capped, when he grabbed it, and the second. So uh, this, this is going to be potentially a dead ghost spider here because that's four yeah. so far. I don't, I don't think it's affected the flow of the game too much anyway. Nah. I think the stuff that's happening now would still have happened. Yep. So that's a dead ghost spider. It is, and I think this is the danger of playing a, such a narrow list. Especially, like, Ghost yeah. Spider is a finesse piece. I think she's very good on a wide list. But... Yep. Yeah, she's so good when, when you have a couple of threats around her that are big enough to um, take some heat off her. But sadly, Pan uh, Captain America does definitely does not take heat off of Ghost Spider, except for if he can bodyguard. And Vision probably should take some heat off her, but for me, they'd be... Um, about the same threat level, so it depends who I'm offered first. And removing Ghost White, I mean, she hasn't activated yet, right? So he's, he's now down to... And Trav's still got the move. Shuri push on Panther to finish. What are we doing here? We're doing a... Shield, shield throw, it looks like. Yeah, he's got yeah. It. Got into, a, into a Koye, though. Definitely got it with three wilds. It's going into a Koye, though. That he hasn't attacked Panther. Like, yes, um, Panther's disarmed, but Panther still gets a push, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, would I would honestly be, I'd almost, almost, get, almost be doing a double shield slam. I think it. Yeah. The the best thing about Cap is when he has enough power to start pumping out shield slams. Uh they just missed their gamma damage as all, well, Darren. I don't think it's going to matter, mate. So. Yeah. Don't fret. One on Shuri for a real. Yeah, I think he's trying to save his Okoye here. So if I were Trav, I wouldn't really be caring about the... I mean, he doesn't even have to move Panther to get that back point. Yeah, but if you can save your Okoye and then just take a single damage here, you've got another bodyguard yeah, set I'd, up. I'd can he move. bodyguard the Ricochet? Uh, if it's a different target, yeah, I still think, I think the standard bodyguard rules come in if you've got the power. Yeah, and I think this is Miles. Three. Takes one. One into Miles. One into Shuri, maybe. Oh, that's actually big. That's four points. Yeah. As, as we said before, I don't. I don't think it's game changing. Yeah. Miles can. Web swing and move. I think it's still four. This is the uh, shield slam into Panther. Okay. Uh, three. So currently Roll Panther one. has blocked it because he's got blanks as success. And then the throw, which I don't think hurts Trav here. So Trav gets nah. away with no, no. one he needed, That's it. He needed to get tapped twice. Yep. The throw was the guaranteed damage. Yeah, I mean, a sneaky days on Shuri is not bad. But he Panther's still there. Ball. All that offers him is just the vessel points. I don't yeah. think it, it doesn't change. Trav still gets the back gamma and the four, yeah. and that, that's his win condition right there. He doesn't need to do anything else. For sure. I mean, if I was Trav, I'd be leaving Panther right until the end to avoid a, his um, Volcano's Panther coming in, and then I'd be doing probably yeah. miles now. I'd just be concerned about Volcano's Panther moving and then pouncing me. I'd be go. I'd just go park. Don't tell me Travis Gar. He's got. Why would you choose violence here? You can guarantee the points. Right. Oh, good. Well, he he he, he can only move he's once. Going. He can only move yeah. once, right? So he gets a free yeah. attack anyway. I think he's got there. I think yeah, he's moves. there. He's there. Faux show. May as well have a quick kick on vision though on the way through, right? Yeah, hundred percent extra damage, right? Just a little karate kick. Just yeet. And I think he can even get closer. Uh, yeah. To get to that, uh, he can sit on the front of that graveyard. Man, to get six dice, seven dice into vision with a potential wild into the tree. I would be a little bit concerned for my vision's life at this point, but I think he just measured. Um... He got, oh. got the throw. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's classic miles. You do nothing, but you get the throw. Yeah, I think it's GG though, because Travis is going to get. Four for the vessel, gets, so that takes him to thirteen. Three to and three as long as his panther lives. Yep. 
So his Volcanoes Panther's got to get traps to avoid that point on the back. Yep. Weirdly, Trav's got a good record on herbs and we and with with securing it as well. Yeah, well, because most people just ignore it, right? But if you have just a single character that can at least have a have a go of it, like we're not talking turn one cap herbs, but turn three cap herbs is pretty respectable, then that's a legitimate threat because then you're getting four VP swings in your direction. So like it's it's a massive difference when your opponent's not getting that at all. Yeah, that's why I don't mind a, a ghost spider. I would have wouldn't have mind seeing that. Go spot a grab at turn one, move in, attack, head to the back point, yep. move sort of where the tree is, attack, and then move again to score the vessel. I think that's it. So he's recognized the panther threat here. Travis is still gaining six, so because the Koye is, Koye is in the middle. Five, six. I mean, it, it, it delays it around, right? Yeah, that's it. Delays him around. And if you daze this, you're giving him priority with a absolutely pimped Valkyrie. Yeah, well, I think I don't think you can stop the points. It would have to be a humongous turn next turn, and I think next turn is going to start swinging back Travis. Yeah. Way. But, I mean, if you're Travis right, you want next turn. It's more points, and, and, and hear me out, right, because you want next turn because if you go to 15 here, realistically, Volcano is going to go to 2 at best, it's a right? Margin of victory. You've That's got four right. Four points is guaranteed. Exactly, yeah. and Travis has a potential of ten victory points if he wins everything next turn, which is possible. Which means it'll be thirty to two. I've I've never seen a thirty score, mate. That's that's it's huge. Like if you're going tournament wise, and we got margin of the victory as a potential like draw breaker. You get a 30-point win round one. One, you solidify yourself as the triple E. And two, like, it's just... Even if you have some rough games later on, you, you still got so many VPs in front. I think you can get there in a move. Just... Yeah, easy. You just bend that ruler and you, you can sit on the home point and have a go at it. I know it's X and 1, but it does actually matter, Darren, because um, what you're looking at is placings, right? Because once you're X and 1, we're now in a tournament bracket. And if you can go top of Swiss, then you verse the bottom X and 1 that comes through, which is typically somebody who's scraped in because they've got really poor MOV, so they've had really some really rough games, right? So it does matter. Just not that much. It just dictates who you basically verse. So he needs to get this. That's... I think the, the attack's the wrong option here. I mean, Trav, if he doesn't get the attack, Trav potentially blocks it. No, nah, Trav's done. But... There's but five, he, he five damage there. Trav's not going to be able to block that. He can block four at best because of the skull. So he takes one. But I mean, the two power for the throw was guaranteed. That was still risky. Yeah. Oh, he's he's going to pounce the middle. Sure. <clears throat> he did before damage is dealt, so you do get to push Travis's Panther. Yeah, this is the same as a lot of X-Wing tournaments we've done, um, Darren. So... X MOV doesn't matter. Like, literally all that matters is winning, right? Get yourself to the cut. But if you want to think past that, a big MOV can secure yourself into... I mean, if you're undefeated, you're undefeated, right? But if you can secure yourself into that position one, two, three, like podium finish, then you're going to be versing somebody that's scraped in and you have a good chance that that means that you should hopefully get an easier round one of the cut. I mean, he'll get within range there. It's close. I, don't I think, think he'll just. I'm pretty get sure he'll make it. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Easy. I mean, that's the that's the first time Panthers actually done something in this game, almost, right? Yeah, and if you think about it, like he's now brought Panther back in, and he wasted his first two turns. Is this round one or round two? Is this round two? 
three, round three, sorry. He wasted Panthers' first two turns trying to secure the herb, and he's now had to abandon the plan. So that's that's brutal. And Trav's got priority. Yep. And you very nicely just placed something next to, to throw in division. Oh, Val Valkyrie with all you've got here is going to be a very, very nice <laughs> activation. I think. Yeah, that's it. Would you just torch your Valkyrie into the ground to just... Oh, I would. I don't think it matters at this point. I'd, yeah. And you've got, like, I would be thro I'd be torching vision and I'd be trying to do as much damage as I could to Panther. Yeah, for sure. Or throw Panther away just to waste his power. To torch vision and then I'd probably just... If all you do is that and then you probably don't even need to use all you've got here and then just throw Panther away... He's got no power. He's then moving. He gets one attack. You know that Travis is eyeing off Valkyrie with all you've got, with Wakanda Forever to back him up, with Shuri re-rolls, and I think he's going to try and get rid of Panther and Vision in this first activation. Yeah, and I would not be surprised if Travis is looking <laughs> at all three pieces with all of that and going... <laughs> yeah, look at the move. Look at the move. He's going for he's the middle of the three. It, mate. Like, Triple E is just like, uh. if I can wipe the board, it's extra points. That's right, and one of them will daze, so then he can go for the big swing. So... But I, I think it's largely inconsequential unless a piece somehow manages to pull Miles off that. Um... Dragon Fang, Warrior of Legend, charge. Charge, yeah, it's a big... Blech. I would consider putting that into Panther, to be honest, because that's his biggest attack... I'm pretty sure you can get vision with just a standard Warrior of Legends strike. Yeah, so, and you can potentially throw as well. So throw Panther yeah. into. Yeah, exactly. I'd be putting this into into old old um old Panther here. I just I hate the idea of just throwing dice into Panther. It just feels like such a. You can throw a, dice into Panther. Vision. You just got to do the do the math right. Like if you're throwing a five dice attack into his four dice blanks counter success, oh, it's not going to work. But you're throwing seven. Man, this cat placement, I am not happy with. And like you said, if he placed him all the way forward, he'd be able to bodyguard all of this. Yeah, it's been a few times now too, right? No, no, yeah. He came down to turn one, he had to, he had to, had to move. But yeah, no, nah, we're going to go vision. I think, I think some of this comes down to experience. And yeah. I mean, it's easy for us to all look. Like, Trav's been playing how many seasons now? And yeah, for sure. A relatively new player, and there are some casual gamers here. Well, he's flopped it. Oh, he's still got a crit in there. He's still got a bunch of re-rolls as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. Some of those reels can really change this. So three blocks into two hits. I mean, three hits technically. I'd pay... I mean, you need that vision to disappear because Panther's only got one power, so... I'd be pumping a bit of power here. Let's have a look. Yep, one there. Does he go for the uh, Shuri one? I think he was just outside for Shuri. Yep. So three versus three, blocked it. And no wild. And his waste, his power's down here. That's what I mean. I think vision was a guaranteed. That was vision. <laughs> oh, it was. It yeah, was right. vision. Yeah, he just, just, sadly, that's Valkyrie. Every now and again, you're going to do a Warrior of Legend that just flops. Mate, uh, that's, that's honestly, I'm a fan of, I love Valkyrie's displacement, but that's part of the reason I'm a fan of uh, Zemo, at least you get the, the rerolls on it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's four hits. And he's got two blocks. So currently he is alive. Three blocks. Oh, man. Oh, savage. I mean, he does get a reroll. Does not get a reroll because of Shuri. So he does one damage. That's a massive Valkyrie flop. Ooh, Volcano's well, got a little, I mean, I don't. I still don't think he has a chance because Travis is hitting 17 this round anyway. I think all you've got, oh, sorry, Wakanda Forever, is that what we've just seen? Yeah, I would, I would Wakanda Forever. You need, to, you can't let that vision Sorry, activate. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, great. Yeah. You've got to do something about And you got um, Shuri as well. You, you cannot let that vision activate. 10 power, double Synthesoid Avenger. I still think it comes down to does it matter? I still think Trav. Yeah, here we go. Koye, Shuri. Boom. 
That, he's got climbing gear as well for Panther. So his Panther can climbing gear back on. Wouldn't he have to do that first, though? But I mean, like, for Panther's turn later on. Mm. So you can get some pushes as well when required. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a Shuri shot. And the Skull as well, so she's going to gain some power. Assuming that he did do the thing, he did do the thing. Roll five there. One, two. He's um okay. paying, paying for visions. Rapid phase. Yeah, but the phase is only on the other two, isn't it? I mean, yeah. So you just phase the energy, right? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okoye, yeah. Two. He's got power for Shiri Royals here too, which could be big. Oh, that is a huge yeah. defense roll. <laughs> that is massive. Oh my goodness. Right, Vision has decided I am not dying today. You'd be frustrated. Angry. How angry do you reckon Trav is right now? He's, I reckon he'd be very frustrated, but I think he knows that he's won no matter what with Miles anyway. Yeah. So he's probably just like, yeah, whatever. You survive. Vision for MVP still. still. He, he'd be happy seeing Vision doing this. He'd be, Travis, Travis killing Vision right now is like that little kid that's crying and cocking the gun. Yeah. Doesn't need to happen. Yeah. Right. It's got to be Vision Activates, right? Mm -hmm. You know the other thing, right? If he'd done his like cap just further forward, there's a tombstone right there. He could have tried to back get some backstop shenanigans off. Yeah. As well. So the other thing with Trav there, I think if he hadn't wasted that power on the chart or, or he'd positioned slightly differently, um, he may be able to have... He would have got Shuri rerolls if he didn't get greedy and land in front of Cap. Yeah. Just I mean, just, just charge next to Okoye. Yeah. Yeah, great. I think it could have been a very different... Just charge next to Okoye and you're good to go. Okay, we're bringing, bringing Cap up. Cap, when he's on his flip side, is just basically invulnerable. And especially when he's got power, you just have to accept the fact that your first four or five attacks are just going to be wearing his power down, and that's it. Let's just Scarlet Witch, mate. Or Modoc. Yeah, yeah, or Modoc. Then you're just laughing all the way to the bank. It's good to see an Avengers list. It's good yeah. to see them played. Man, I was so close. I just had high hopes for Falcon. I was looking at Falcon going, come on, baby, just give me like a really cool like Avengers Assemble, you know, some kind of movement shenanigan um, leadership and I'd be happy. Uh, what is this? His strike, I guess. Into Valk or oh, yeah. Akuyo. The fact that he's not paying power means it's Koye. Yep. Now pays the power. Yeah. Pay the power. Take no damage. You still got Shuri as well. So odds are she's not going to take any damage here. Maybe. I mean, a block is a one in three. And she gets blanks, doesn't she? Oh. This range. That's unlucky. <laughs> yeah. but hit, it does hit, happen, hit. It does happen on a Koye. That's dazing her as well. I mean, sure, he still has a field day here. Patch up into from all that power onto vision. Yep. Nice. Solid. I personally would have only done probably three 
and kept myself open for three individual bodyguards or two in one turn. I think he is backstopped on that tree, just eyeballing it. Who, Vision? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's no way you're getting past Valkyrie. This is in the Panther, I think. Oh, Travis, four crits on the Shuri activation. Always huge, isn't it? Yeah. Watch him not get, watch him not get a skull oh, there. Oh, you got the skull. <laughs> well done. That's wow. A perfect roll. There's one blank in there. He'd be upset about it. Yeah. If, it's, if he gets a good push here, you can just push him way out wide. Yeah, you can push him easy. Easy push. Unless you want him to stay there, which that is a Travis move. Like, I decide I want him here. I mean, but if you keep that, if you keep that Panther away and keep him in the middle, it leaves him options to, uh, one, now Panther can't pounce through Valkyrie unless he kills her. Well, now and, you've got a second target here, right? So yeah. he might not have been able to, his only other target was Vision. Yeah. It just stops Panther doing any pound shenanigans here, so his, his Panther can come up and take the home point, and he can go to 20, 20 points, plus Vision, plus Shuri is 21. I think I think you're going to see Shuri die or the displaced with Vision here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think Trav's got it, as long as he holds on to Miles as his last activation. Yeah, he's in the Vision, and it will do the single point of damage, and he's not pushable. Even though I would have actually paid that, possibly, because you can't push me anyway. I mean, something he could have looked at, and I know he would have thought about it, man. If you just need to do like three damage to something, Shuri with all you got, it's not a bad, not a bad option. Huge amounts of dice. Yeah, I mean, the six, six dice is fairly reliable. Yes, yeah, one, one, one. Tell you what, you'd be you'd be frustrated if you didn't get it though. Oh, for sure, especially with their own range side. I'm just spitballing here. Oh, what's he doing? I reckon his Panthers gonna have a go at uh Miles. Delaying it though. I mean, Trav still scores three on the back point, and that's yeah. 16. Yep. Yeah, Panther. I mean, if you hold vision, I mean, Travis is going last unless you can daze this Miles. If you don't daze Miles here, uh, Travis goes I think, last. I think the chances of dazing Miles are decent here with the extra dice. Yeah. Miles pretty tanky though. Three re-rolls. Well, it's going to be the... I think he'll throw himself in. In a range. Do the... Do the yeah. Probably maybe a damage or two with that. And then he's only going to do one on the attack with six dice. Yeah, for Even sure. Even with the re-rolls, I think it's decent odds. I, I would put the odds that he, he'll get dazed here. You'd be definitely hoping for it. No re-rolls though, so... I mean, you're reducing the margin. You're re reducing the points. I don't think you change the result. No. Oh, potentially, you know what? You're potentially taking on an extra round. If Panther moves onto that shelter, yep. Vision goes, throws him off. Ooh, he still gets three rerolls here. See if it's required. Man, can't buy a good reroll to save his life right now. Conda. Just needs to block one. Nope. Nah. Radio. Like you said, it's just delaying it a turn. Miles can pick that up next turn and just recap. Can, but I think more importantly, it takes the game in on an extra round. So if you yeah. Go, potentially remove some pieces. Here's the problem, right? So he's getting two victory points. At best, he gets three because Vision has to go back to stop... Um, Panther has to. Yep. So it's still not 
it's like a little, it's like putting out a little tiny spot fire next to a bonfire at this point. But I, I mean, he really has to at this point because there's no other turn after this. So I mean, he has no option. Dragon Trap's going to go for it in War 1 1 turn. I'll be using. Gear, right? uh, yeah, I'll be. Potentially, I mean, where's climbing gear? Sit him. What's the Panther's range of his big attack? Range two. Okay, not. Nah. Can he. Climbing like, gear. Double move. Double move yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I like it. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's just, that's what he's thinking. I think Ooh. Weirdly, Panthers and Miles' placement has actually hurt him there a bit. Yeah, I don't actually think he makes it. No, it just misses. Oh, he's got the power. What about Pounce? Did he measure a Pounce yet? I think he can make that if he does Pounce climbing gear. He's got six, he's got six power. He's got enough to do all of it. Climbing gear. Move, move, pick up, climbing gear, pounce. Yep. Oh, he's looking at a double move throw. Still, it's still an option. A few people without Friday nights like us, Philly. Actually, yeah. I'm actually quite happy with this Friday night, to be honest. Been so busy yeah, this last couple of weeks with the RFS. Are you done there now? Yeah, yeah. So we're not back there till fire season, I guess. Um, I might be up your way Friday next week too. Delish. Drop in for a game if you can. Hell yeah. He's, didn't you measure straight no, at it? Oh, he's measuring straight at it. Yep. He's this doing is... now. Think, seeking the pounce first and then the move and then the climbing gear. I think it gets there. I think the I real think question is: does get vision, there. Or, vision can still double move throw. I think so. Yeah, because vision moves on top and moves again. With I mean, Trav's also then forcing more damage. He's then got characters over there. He's got Valkyrie option to score the other points. Yeah, but it's still not good for. I mean, you do this right because this is this is this is awesome for you, right? I would do this anyway, even knowing that Vision can probably still double move throw me, because you're pulling Vision out of the middle. Yep, and you can almost ignore Cap. He hasn't got enough power to be of relevance. You sort of move away from him or leave Koya exactly. There. And, and then you're and left. You've got, you've got the characters to score the other points. Yeah, exactly. And then you're also going to be having. I mean, you'd cap all three at that point, unless you can. You just all you got to do is displace Cap after he activates, which. Valkyrie or Shuri can do that. So he's going to cap six in the next turn for that. Oh, man. It's a tough place to be for Volcano. Just sitting there looking at this like, man, he can win this way, he can win this way, he can win this way. I think, I think as we said, it delays at another turn, right? Yeah. Climbing gear. I don't know if we've seen him pounce yet. I think we have, judging by his. This is a pounce now. And then maybe climbing gear? I don't think he's done a long move yep, yet. Now he's, now he's done doing the climbing gear. I don't think he's done. Yeah, there we go. He's trying, he's, he's trying to get as far away as, as possible. possible. For Makes, the sense. Throw. Makes sense. Yep. I like that. That's a good play. Yeah. Make him work for it at least. I still think he gets there. I think it'll be close, but I still think he gets there for the throw. I think so. I mean, he's got flight. He's medium, though. So medium and be about on the mausoleum. Another yeah, medium think, next to Panther. And then I, have I a go at might, it. Maybe it'll come down to just squeeze in between the Tombstone and Panther there. Yeah, that's, what I, that's, that's the exact spot I was looking at. Just checking his placement there. Looks all good. Yeah, this move is actually pretty critical. 
that move comes right down to it. Yep. Wargaming dad at 13-2 is just a matter of time. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah, how much, how many course. VPs can he get out of Travis is what he's looking at. I like that he's fighting tooth and nail. I think it's it's really yeah. good. I think if it was a different crisis set up, I think it, this would be... I think Gamma played to, to Wakanda's advantage big time here. Yeah. Well, I think if he played that Panther in the thick of it from the get-go and possibly I would like to think that he would have probably removed one of Travis's characters and then be working on a second, it wouldn't be so bad, right? Because he's going to have advantage, He'll, like ride the priority storm next turn. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? A better, better map set up with that mausoleum really hurt Trav. Yep. Yeah, I think if he just went full attrition from the start, he would have had a damn good go at it. Actually not as far I as I was expecting. Yeah, medium's... I thought he'd be over further on the corner. I don't close. think he can get there. I think he's got to go for it, right? He doesn't even need a bottom yeah. pre measuring. If you don't get this, it's, it's done. It's game regardless, right? Yeah. So you do it the most aggressive way you can. He's got to get within two. Mm, oh, it's just down man. The I don't think Panther, so. I think Panther. I think Travis helping him out. I don't think he can make it. No. Nah. No. Nah. Panther, I think, is just in the way. Even then, I think it would have been tight. Yeah. Like you said, the Panther and Miles positioning hurt Travis, but it's also hurt Volcano as well. I'd kill one of Travis's characters out of spite. <laughs> yeah, right. That's fair enough. Get, get extra three VPs? Why not? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's good. Nice, nice. I mean, he owned that point anyway because he's healthy, but... It's all good. Trav go, travel go to 17. Yep. It's 17, 2, and... Yep. 17, 17 7. 10, 10 VP. Yep. That was a good game. I think the last turn, especially, was right at the end, it was very close. It was just the yep. other swing. 100%. I just would have loved to have seen that Panther in from the start. Or at least if you're going to grab the herb, grab the herb with the intention of and, just and throwing fight. out... Yeah, throwing yeah. out the six dice attack, which is actually what I thought he was doing. Yeah, I think Gwen was a, Gwen's a good niche pick when you're playing wide, but I didn't quite like her as much in a narrower list. Yeah, or I thought maybe she could have been held back a bit behind Cap to protect a bit more. Never really came up. I'll ask. Um... I think Avengers Assemble got really good value there. I really liked that, that turn with Vision that he popped off hard was an Avengers Assemble, Avengers Assemble like a... Um, yeah, player. man, I love running Avengers Assemble like aggressively. I love it. There it is. Uh, Burn Trav. Burn Trav. He needs to be uh, brought down a peg always, mate. Don't call me the lumberjack for nothing, mate. Good. You want to come over? Yeah, mate, I'll jump in. All right, where are they? They're in the TTS somewhere here, Over right one. there. Well, Gwen, that if I in any way, shape, or form went for your Panther, um, you're going to get that life saving pull off, and then it was like, oh, great, then he's going to be another step closer. You'd almost cap that herb turn two, I reckon. Yeah. Gentlemen. Hey, Vaughn. How you going, hey. mate? How's it going? Volcano, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, hey, that was um good game, boys. And we got Wreath in here as well. He was a uh, co-commentator as well. Um, Awesome game, boys. A bit spicy. I honestly... Oh, I just got a quick question for you, Volcano. I honestly thought you were taking that herb with a full attrition mindset. I thought you were going for that. Um, no, but then, yeah, no, once we saw the Avengers Assemble come up, we went, ah, ah, it all makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's, close. Yeah. You fell short, you only fell short by like a, maybe a base length. Like you were pretty close to capping that second turn. Yeah. Uh, probably just this big mausoleum in the middle. Pain of butt. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, I think it was hurting Travis a lot more than it was hurting you, though, which is what you're going for, right? Yeah, 
Yeah. I was hating yeah. it. I was like, I was even asking Volcano, I was like, is this map legal? I mean, I really don't want to play on this map. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, we, th we yeah. thought you might look at Scarlet Witch just to throw it and get rid of it. Nah, the way, the what Wakanda wave is just... Yeah, I know. Um, it's too good. So ridiculously strong at this 15 threat. Oh yeah, and I loved. Um, we did it. We really liked your mark for death as well, Volcano, as like a counter, counter herb carrier to really slow him down. That was um brutal. You know, if Travis didn't get managed to get an extra power there, his miles would have been dead in the water. Yeah, um, that's kind of the idea. Is just if 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 it's in that gamma, you can usually have a couple of guys sitting here, and yep. they can just and then smash him on. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely I smash will, him. I will be the first to say my Wakanda re rolls were on point for attack. For yeah, that game. I was pretty much, pretty much just getting what I needed most of the time. Oh, I think if you rewatch it, your um, your Wakanda re rolls in defense were not not very good at all. Yeah. Okay. It I feels good. It's one of those things like you feel good, right? But you you actually, if you go back and rewatch it, probably your last two turns. I don't know if you had a successful Wakanda re-roll in defense. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it felt like I was getting a lot of successes. So. No, no, we were talking about it going, man, your attack, don't get me wrong, your attack rolls for Wakanda, on point. Like, they all went to success, right? They were good. Except for Valkyrie's big flop. Yeah, yeah big, big flop. I've got, I've got a question on that, Trav. Do you regret not holding it back a bit more um, to be within range of Shuri for that big attack? Oh, I should have pre-measured it. Uh, I said it as, as soon as I moved to there, and then I saw the attack flop, and I went, let me just check if Shuri's in. It wasn't in. I went, ah. Lazy. Yeah, to be honest, so I Consider holding actually... off a bit more, just to allow the, the guaranteed all you've got, sort of with a strike first and then a, a bigger attack following up. Yeah. I had visions of grandeur of um, oh, we know, mate. shooting up with the dragon fang, chasing, <laughs> <laughs> chasing vision, cracking into... Um, we know what Panther you're with the, normally like. <laughs> we thought you were going to go. I'll get another attack in the Panther, then I'll go all you've got, and then I'll get Panther again, then I'll hit Cap, then I'll throw Cap. I said to Volcano, I said, I had visions of grandeur of just totally dazing your entire squad with Valkyrie. And oh, then, that's uh, what we're chatting about. Move. Is how many characters in your head you saw yourself killing with Valkyrie on that, on that activation? <laughs> give you a hot tip. It was all of them. <laughs> hey volcano um did you consider um just from the get-go because you went four wide so you're probably going to have good odds of maintaining um priority did you consider just going all attrition style just bring panther in from the get-go and just do your best to start removing bodies uh no it was just uh it, it was i was just trying to get him over to yep. start scoring the herb um it just the Cap and Gwen just collapsing. Didn't uh, didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, your cap your cap could have been about half a base length f further forward. I think on your um first movement, and I think that would have solved all your issues. Yeah, he was just every time we saw him come up and measure, it was like, oh, he's so close. Yeah. <laughs> he was so close to saving the day, and um. Hot tip for Travis and I, both of us hate Gwen. So if we see Gwen, she's going to be target number one. Yeah. She's just so obnoxiously good for a three-pointer with how that lifesaver works. And then she can just be really irritating with the web line and impact webbing. She yeah. doesn't need to and do damage. She's just a pest. And Avengers, she just gets so much better because she just sits there for one power at a time. Oh, so yeah. good. Yeah. So good. Um... Yeah, any any closing thoughts, gents? I'll go with you first, Travi. Oh, cheers to Volcano for the game. Um, funny story leading into this uh, game is that I totally misinterpreted the uh, time zones. I totally thought I was going to be <laughs> playing in like central time and uh, Volcano was like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually uh, 4 a.m. your time if you want to play that. So he graciously uh, accepted <laughs> Uh, Man. Offered to play at around 10 or 11 a.m. his time, so it was more of a gentlemanly time for me. So kudos did, to him. Did you follow last season at all, of... Volcano? Uh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Well, no, I, I, did, I watched the sort of finals. Um, yeah. I watched uh, your 
uh, commentary on them. Oh, cheers. I was going to say you uh, probably know that Travi is a seasoned veteran at 4 a.m. games then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've played that. I've got two young kids, so it's just easier for me when I'm playing internationals to just get up at 4 a.m., play until like 7, 7 a.m. when they get up and then just start my day jet-lagged. <laughs> um, any closing thoughts, Volcano? No, just uh, thanks for the game. Hey, mate, you're in the same bracket as me, so I, I lost my game 22 to 20 yesterday, so... Oh, spoiler, spoiler. Oh, <laughs> you should have given me a warning. <laughs> hey, it's a really good game. You, It's a good game. It's still worth a watch. Well, You're, is it? Yeah. Man, turn seven turns. <laughs> I should have warned you. I should you should have given me a heads that. up, mate. Totally. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Give me the heads up. He's been half. He's been halfway through the game. Hey, so. it's been up for twelve hours. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. All right, no, boys. Real game. Yeah, I love playing against Avengers. So um, it always catches me off guard because you don't see Cap very often. So it really catches me off guard when you start seeing like one power throws from Vision and one power pounces or mantles from the opposing Panthers, it kind of throws off my dice math and it kind of really sends me into a spin. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it caught me off guard with that. But We, yeah, we thought game. we thought you were a bit lucky to get away that Cap didn't just auto-daze your Panther with the double shield slam. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, it could have absolutely... Like when, your yeah, Panther could have just been thrown into that mausoleum twice because it's an auto-throw, right? We, we, yeah. were, we had him picked to just go bang, bang, just smash him in the wall and... Then free up Panther to do whatever else he wanted. Yeah, I was hoping to just sneak one through on Panther uh, and then slam him in the wall. Um, yep. And hopefully, hoping the shield slam would. Well, the shield slam, the shield throw did what I wanted it. Days, Shuri. Yep. Because the plan was then just move Panther onto the vessel. And yep. Or four. Yeah. But, uh, he needed to Yeah. He definitely needed to daze. Um, Shuri that round because I was saving her for last activation so yep. she was just going to walk up and, and push Shoot, her yeah. panther off the vessel every round just go nope we were talking about that as well going uh, Shuri has to go for you at that point Volcano because otherwise your panther's never going to be able to capture his vessel because she's a pest I was um, pest is Gwen. While, we got, while we got an Avengers player in here what do you think of did you see uh, Falcon at all uh, just yeah, I haven't, I haven't ah. had a proper look yet. All right, so I'll get back to you on that then. Yeah, oh, I'm. I'm. He looks decent. He looks good. Looks yeah. like there's some fun shenanigans we can do there. Some people are like sort of fifty-fifty underwhelmed. I think with him, um, I'm actually pretty excited for him. Yeah, it says it's a it's a new style of leadership. And not every affiliation can come out at like Wakanda Brotherhood level strength and A Force level. I don't think every affiliation should, right? To, to be yeah. brutally honest, I think Wakanda Brotherhood and those I think, I should think, be scaled down. Yeah. I think Avengers as well have the, the advantage of characters. They've got such a variety that they can sort of make up for maybe a slightly worse yep. affiliation just with flexibility. Like you can easily fill 10 spaces on your roster with just Avengers and still be good. Probably. True that. What I'm um, secretly hoping for is that Falcon and War Machine bring out some tactics cards that are just Avengers specific and are like big, like Wakanda Forever style, like pay this on as many Avengers as possible and make this really big thing happen. Well, they should, right? Because... Um, well, bring back drop-off. Give us a drop-off for Falcon. He should... He should come with a uh, crisis card as well, shouldn't he? If yep. he's a leader. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so hopefully okay, something no, good there. I just there. want to jump in sorry, and say I loved your play of uh, Avengers Assemble. I thought Vision was an incredibly good piece for you that game, and I guess you showed why he's still incredibly relevant. Um, I have one other question on your list. You're running Ghost Rider, which I think is a great pick with uh, Cap, um, and I think... That's great to see. So I'm looking forward to, I guess, some of your games. Um, what sort of crisis do you think you'll end up running him in um, for, as far as setup is concerned? 
think uh, Hammers is the one he's aiming for. He's on the yeah. Yeah. Hammers is the one he's sort of aimed for. Um, it'll kind of depend what I see on the opponent's side. If there's a lot of weakness to energy, he might get taken out as well. Because uh, he sort of does that quite well. Yep. He does have a massive like, Mystic attack as well, which is nice. Yeah. Like, I did uh, have a practice game with him uh, against Brotherhood, like Mystique Brotherhood, and he ended up with all four hammers. Uh, at one point. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that is a pin in there and a half. Yeah. Mate, that's a nine yeah. dice beam. Jesus. So, uh, I love it. I think it's a great pick with Avengers and that uh, sort of wicked judgment just for one power um, on enemy turns is, is savage. Typically <sighs> when it fuels itself because it's spirit yep. and the power for it. You just go, yeah. I know you got a soft spot Actually, for that, Phil. I'm quite terrified of playing against I, I love it. Phil just loves Nick Cage, mate. Oh, he says, oh mate, don't knock Nick Cage. He's, well, he's a gentleman. He gets better, right? Oh, as man. like Domino and stuff hits the table. You know, all of these guys that can count skulls as criticals and things like that. Ghost Rider just goes up and up and up. Yeah, great. I like him. All right, boys. Well, I might jump out of here and let you guys finish your debrief. Um, thank you very much for letting me stream that. No worries, dude. All good, and um, it's all good. YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna go up right now. Thanks, guys. Great game. See you, boys. Cheers, See you, volcano. Cheers for the game, volcano. See ya. I won't do it. I won't do it. All right. Um, that's it, guys. Triple E up. Want to know? Volcano, uh, very good Avengers player there. Really knows how to work his stuff. He just kind of just fell short just a little bit. I think with some different roster builds, I think that um, he would have been a, a serious contender in that game. It's just so hard versing Wakanda at 15. Like People forget about Wakanda Wave, but it is degenerate at how good it is at that gamma. Especially when you see something like Herbs come down where it's now there's a big focus on the Gamma Shelters. Uh, so it's really difficult to try and overcome that. You know, you've got Valkyrie and Miles and Panther and Shuri and all these repositions. It's, it's difficult. Um, but yeah, see you uh, later on. I'm sure.